Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading for mid-Jan. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Alrighty, so we're looking at three different parts of your life today. We're going to look at your source of abundance, source of love and any silver linings that you can expect moving forward. All right, I will pull the oracles. Um, I mean, I will flip them over as in when we're getting to that row. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Hang on a minute. Yeah, just wanted to make sure I'm recording. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. That was too many. Oh, nice. Oh, how beautiful. Such a contrast from Aries reading. Okay, bottom of the deck, <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. You're in a beautiful energy, Doris. I really like that you're putting yourself first you are focusing on what is important you're not letting your energy uh, well escape you willy-nilly we have unleash your kind of self first quarter moon in Capricorn and you're being incredibly kind about it I feel like you're building well I can't explain what I'm feeling it's almost like you're putting in the work all right you're putting in the effort where it is due when it comes to your career, your finances, betterment of self, whatever it may be, you're looking at the intricacies of everything, all right? The Eight of Pentacles moves to the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is the energy of, well, being whole and complete and very independent. And a lot of modern readers read this as a card of being single. It's not the card of being single. It is a card of being independent regardless of your, well, status, okay? now you see how she has six pentacles right here and she has three right here so she's being very careful about what she is giving away and what she is keeping for herself why i say that is because we have the four of pentacles and the queen of pentacles at the bottom i'm going to get to it now you see that falcon that she's holding in that gloved hand it's very difficult to train a falcon and it is also very difficult to grow grapes right it is one of the most difficult crops to grow so i feel like you have worked so hard on your stability on your abundance on your independence whatever it may be regardless of the love that is available to you regardless of the relationship or marriage or partnership whatever that is available to you you are being very careful about what you are giving and you're not being rude about it you're unleashing your kindest self but you're putting yourself first now the four of pentacles is the energy of holding back all right and again the four of cups is the energy of well not accepting what isn't for you what is less than what you deserve the queen of pentacles puts herself first nurtures herself first before helping other people no gender in tarot just take the energy with you i do see now this could even be a business partnership okay the two of cups it doesn't just have to represent a romantic relationship but either way i see you well doing you and being very unapologetic about it i feel like you've worked too hard to let anybody come in and well mess up your rewards we have temperance which is beautiful this is patience and i feel like you've really trained yourself you've trained yourself to a point where you can well sit pretty okay the temperance card is a card of patience so is the eight of pentacles okay concentrating and focusing on one thing it could be a talent a skill it could be anything, but I feel like you've done the work. Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. I need one more. I do see this as you, well, saying no and again walking away from things that don't have long term potential, that don't bring out the best in you. Hmm, the Two of Cups. Some of you may have walked away from a partnership, again, business or otherwise. Because, again, 
you are not being able to unleash your kindest self in that situation someone may be triggering you again business partnership or otherwise and i feel like i see you holding back sometimes when we are working with other people or <clears throat> committed to other people we start sharing their frequency okay and sometimes they bring out the worst in us we all have a devil within okay all of us aren't made of light we are made of shadow as well if somebody is consistently bringing out the shadow in you and again this doesn't have to be someone it could just be a job it could be a career path that you chose for yourself and it was bringing out the worst in you i feel like you're walking away from that and truly walking towards something that integrates you and your higher self i love this reading already yes collaboration this is the energy of working hand in hand with people who bring out the best in you this is being appreciated this is getting well rewards for merit this is almost like a trine in the in the sky and while i'm recording today actually mars and venus are trining which is a beautiful energy but it's almost like you know you have something wonderful to bring to the table so does somebody else and you collaborate and create something beautiful this is this is two people or more people who are on the same frequency i really like that we have the queen of wands the ace of wands the three of cups and the six of cups with the world card i am strongly getting that some of you are walking away from a very solid career that at till a certain point was bringing you the stability you needed but there's there's a feeling of wanting to break away from that and start something f of your own you know it's like you're you're looking at your community you're looking at the people you're surrounded by and you're picking out the few people who share your frequency and you're almost getting into business with them this is not going to resonate for everyone but yeah that's what i'm getting here surrounding yourself with a soul tribe that can help your growth and vice versa some of you may even be getting into business with a significant other it is possible All right, let's see source of love. We have poised. How beautiful is that card? For me this is very Libra energy. So some of you may be dealing with a Libra or you may have it heavily in your chart, doesn't have to be. But there is a sense of again very temperate energy. It's very patient. It's almost like not it's the opposite of waiting for the shoe to drop. Okay? It's like waiting for the blessings to come in is what I'm getting. Nice. You're so patient, Taurus. I love it. The Knight of Pentacles, and because you're so patient, it's it, all these beautiful things come in for you. Yes, the Two of Wands. I love this reading, and I love Taurus energy. My best friend is a Taurus, and there we have it. The Page of Pentacles. This is gorgeous. You're not in a rush. Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Moon, Ace of Wands. You know it's coming. Whatever this is, you know it's on its way. And again, this is sources of love, right? So you know that the love that you desire or the relationship that you desire is on its way to you. The Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles are very slow energies. Okay, they're curious, but they're very slow. But once they come in, they're there to stay. Okay. The page of pentacles can be a student it can be somebody who's learning so if you're dealing with somebody who's let's say a little younger to you they may not know how to approach you just yet okay and you are the empress you're ruled by venus right so it is possible that whoever this is is waiting for the right time to make them move which is why it seems like they're moving slow now mercury and mars have both been retrograde okay everything has slowed down So um give these planets a little bit of time to come back online and I don't even know why I'm telling you that you know it's coming you're poised for it <laughs> The ace of swords is is well it's a victory it is a truth it is a beautiful adult conversation I like that I really like that The page of cups how lovely is this reading Taurus wow You know what when we are manifesting something when we are waiting for something to come about right we get stuck in our heads that, oh when is it going to happen is it even going to come you know and because we do that when we put ourselves in our heads that eight of swords nine of swords energy it delays the gratification okay because we are putting ourselves in in that state of lack 
I don't see you doing that. You're very temperate. You're poised. You're so graceful <laughs> in this reading. I'm going to cry. But because you are not impatient, because you are, have tempered yourself with the page of cups and the page of pentacles, I'm not going to lie. These are soft energies. Okay. These are not knights or kings or queens or whatever coming your way. These are soft messages. These are small messages of love, but they have to start somewhere right so some of you may be i don't think you're even expecting big declarations of love you're happy with, with 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 the softness that's coming about right here and you know it's going to evolve to more <laughs> that's a lot of pages my friend the page of wands i'm going to get one more here some of you are definitely dealing with someone who's younger to you but then again someone who's willing to put the work in the page of wands the page of pentacles i'm almost feeling like someone who's willing to take your lead there we have it finally we have two kings with the seven of cups the death card the five of wands ace of pentacles queen of wands and the ten of pentacles this is not going to be easy whoever it is that you are dealing with has their own lessons to learn most certainly as and when they learn those lessons they will elevate i'm not asking you to wait for that to happen i don't see you waiting for that to happen but this person I know is willing to put the work in for you, willing to match your frequency, willing to be in the, on the same page as you. That's wonderful. All right, let's see your silver lining. We have Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? Interesting. These cards are beautiful. Some of you may be traveling. the moon that song popped into my head fly me to the moon you may want to listen to that there may be a message in there i think it's by who is it by uh, i have no idea all right we have the moon we have the fool and we have the five of cups i wonder why Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords again, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, The Magician, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups. I think this is more a thing of the past that you're trying to get over, some kind of disappointment that you're trying to get over. But with the moon, now I can see the moon two ways. This can just be subconscious fears that could be resurfacing to be worked upon. The moon can also be, well, keeping, keeping certain things to yourself, not revealing as much as you think you should. The fool is taking a leap of faith. The five of cups is being, well, a little sad about something. But let's see. Let's clarify. The knight of pentacles again. Sometimes, regardless of how poised and temperate we are, we can get in our heads because we're human. Okay. And this for me was literally you being a deity, you having a superpower and being so patient. But again, as a human being, it is okay to be, well, fearful just a tiny bit sometimes because that keeps us on our toes. The slowness of things may have gotten to you. And I have been experiencing this myself. I have Taurus in my second house of, of income. Because these planets have been retrograding, the year didn't start off with a bang that we expected it to. Okay, things were just very slow. There were a whole lot of obstacles and speed bumps. When that happens and when, when we're not really focusing on something because well, things aren't moving, right? Our mind becomes the devil's workshop and there are a whole lot of ifs, buts and maybes that start, that start resurfacing. It's preemptive sadness, okay? That waiting for the shoe to drop, the complete opposite of where you are at. Don't be tempted to succumb to that. All right. Where are you being called to journey to? There is something out there for you that will bring back that spark. There is a journey that you are being well prompted to take. This doesn't have to be a physical journey. For some of you, it is. But this is more a mental journey. Mapping out a blueprint for your life. We have the six of wands. And let me tell you, Taurus, you know how, who was that? King Midas, whatever he touched turned to gold. That's the energy I'm getting here. I feel like whatever you begin, whatever you start, victory is, well, is yours. It's yours to savor. So 
make sure that whatever sadness it is that you are carrying or disappointment it is that you have been carrying from the past make sure it doesn't move into your present we have the queen of cups and we have the page of swords yeah this is what i'm getting here you know how sometimes we can be very prone to comparisons and this can be anything let's say you're scrolling on social media right and people tend to portray their best selves the best memories of their life on social media they will not air their dirty laundry on there right very few people do that so when we are well looking at these accounts and we're looking at these people we're like oh goodness they have a whole lot going on for them right they they have the perfect marriage they have the perfect income they're traveling the world everything is great you don't know what's happening behind the scenes so allow yourself to not compare everybody is on their own timeline everybody's success and gratification will come when it is meant to come to them okay i don't think i should even be giving you this lecture because you are poised you know what's coming in for you you know what you deserve but then again where are you being called to journey to be very careful about where your mind is going taurus and the minute you feel like it's straying catch yourself in that moment okay there's there's a sense of self discipline that needs to come about here but overall beautiful reading your patience is paying off my friend all right <clears throat> let's get you some charms to close this off we don't have too many we have the letters g and h so these could be your initials they could be the initials of someone you're dealing with it could be the first letter of a country of a city of your street of a company even and we have aquarius so <clears throat> i feel like <clears throat> excuse me i have a frog in my throat aquarius could be well literally a part of your chart or somebody else's or it could just mean aquarius season the sun is entering aquarius on the 20th of january so whatever patience that you have shown i feel like you will be rewarded for it just wait for these planets to go direct on the 12th the 18th and the sun to enter aquarius on the 20th and i feel like you you will see results all right taurus beautiful reading i will see you in the next one bye bye